Hey guys, welcome to video one of Project Station Invasion. If you've been to um, the website, you will know exactly what this project is about. Uh, just a quick summary, this project is going to be a um, new MUD style uh, browser based game. And throughout these videos we're going to be looking at um, making such a game using um, jQuery and PHP and we're also going to be experimenting with uh, XML documents as well. If you want more information you can go to the website, uh, the web link as you can see on screen it's www.psi.tapped-in.net okay so going over to our current game screen as you can see here we have a black box um, slap bang in the middle of the page and this box is going to be uh, used for our register form this box uh, stays in the middle of the screen no matter where you scroll or if you shrink the box down that this browser down and I'm going to show you quickly how to achieve this effect. Over in our uh, code we have a div tag here with an idea of register panel. Now over in the CSS the first thing we're going to look at um, is the position. The position is currently fixed which um, gives it that static position no matter where you scroll um, on the bra on the inside the browser, it's going to remain where you tell it to remain. Now at the top and the right um, attributes here have all been set to 50%, which means the top and the right um, sides of the, this box are going to be uh, directly in the middle, in the centre of the screen. So the top right corner um, hits the center of the screen. Now leaving it like this will give us this effect here. As you can see the corner is uh, in the middle of the screen. So we need to um, push this box up and over to the right to get it into the center. And we do this by using um, a margin top and a margin right. The margin top is um, you want to set as minus half of the um, height that you set the uh, the box. So in this case the height of our um, register form is 600 pixels so we minus 300 pixels um, from the top margin which pushes it up and the width of the box is 400 pixels so we set the margin at the right margin to minus 200 pixels which pushes the box over to the right and gives us the um, center screen the key to getting uh, the box to display in the middle of the screen is that the margins have to be exactly half of the height and the width of the um, size that you set them. So if you change the uh, height of the the, um, the box then you must also change the top margin to half of the the height that you're setting. Okay so I've uh, filled out the user form, the registration form <coughs> and as you can see here we've got the basic um, registration form, we've got a username, we've got a password, confirm confirm, confirm password, email, confirm email. We've also got terms and conditions along with our uh, checkbox saying I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and then sign up button. So just to explain um, how I've got this layout. This is a tableless form. 
if we go back over to the index page <coughs> you can see here in each of these paragraph tags in this section here we have a label remove that span we don't need that um, followed by an input box <coughs> then coming over to our CSS um, now to get this all lined up firstly we set a uh, the label to a certain width and set the display to inline dash blocks I've given it a text align of right to push it over to the right and given it a padding as well and on our input uh, text and input password I've just given it a, a width and that lines them all up nicely okay so for the next bit we're going to need to have this registration form appear when we click the register link okay so here's the end result of uh, the register form fading in and out you click the register button and the form fades in and you click the close link and it fades out it's pretty simple to do this all you need is a couple of functions I've just made uh, register appear and register hide targeting the register panel um, on the appear I've got it fade in and slow and on the hide I've got it fade out and slow to get these to activate on the A tags of the register I've just got on click register appear and down here where I've got the close I've got again register hide on the on click event so the next thing we need to do is to validate the forms uh, validate the form on the fly and this will include where you type in some information like you type in your name and when you change the box we can make it appear whether the username is available or whether it's taken so in order to do this we're going to need to um, firstly create a database and then we're going to need to create um, a PHP file which will return us our uh, status of whether the username is taken <coughs> or it's available okay so to, in order to uh, verify the username I've set up a database <coughs> and in this database I've got a new table called user account and in that user account I've got <coughs> um, an account ID which is an integer type it's an auto increment and is the primary uh, index I've got the account name which will be classed as the uh, username I've got an account password and an account email so <coughs> uh, like with any other registration form <coughs> to verify the username we need to We need to um, check the username against any that are in the database field uh, in the in the data currently in the database. So, in order to do this, firstly um, on the input, the username input um, text field, I've got an on change event. Um, with a function inside of it called validate username and inside the parenthesis I've just put this um, dot VAL and up the top in the script um, tags I've started the function of validate username and we're going to be checking X um, against the database which is the value that they uh, enter inside of the database uh, inside of the text field 
So we need to send um, this information <coughs> over to um, a PHP script. So I'm just starting um, an AJAX function. The method we're going to be using, sorry, the type um, that we're going to be using is going to be post. Um, <coughs> we're then going to send the data to a particular URL and we're also going to send certain data over to the URL. Now the URL is going to be a file that I have put in um, a scripts folder. So it needs to go to uh, a file called register.php inside the scripts folder and the data we're sending over for now is just going to be username and the username is equal to x now over in the PHP file um, we connect to our um, user database and I'm going to make a function and just call it validate username <coughs> like we did on the, uh, Java, uh, the JavaScript section <coughs> and I'm just going to use the variable username now there's two things we're going to check on the username first it's uh, we're going to check to make sure it's the right type uh, in the right format and then we're going to check to see whether the username exists in the database so the first thing we're checking for is if and then we're doing um, a preg match to see whether the string entered ha um, contains a to Z in both capital and lower, 0 to 9, underscore and dash, and is a length of between 5 and 25 characters. Now if the um, string contains anything other than um, these characters, or is not between 25 and 5 characters, then we, we're going to return <coughs> a message saying um, username format is invalid so what we're going to do is else uh, we're going to run an else statement because if our username does um, comply to the format we're then going to want to check it against the database so to do this we're going to run a query and we're just going to select um, we'll say the I account ID from user accounts where account name equals the username and limit it to 1 so we're checking against this part here and if it does come back with more than one uh, more than zero results we're going to want to um, tell that the username has already been taken so I'm going to stop the video here and then we'll come back afterwards.